All right, what about berries? Kind of lump berries together, so blueberries, strawberries, and brambles. But let's start with blueberries. Um, Phytophthora root rot, Phytophthora caused by um, um, the water mold, Phytophthora, so very different than our typical fungal pathogens. We seem to have quite the epidemic here in the state. It started in one central area, but it seems our propagation has moved it around. Uh, this is what I see the most in both commercial, commercial plantings and at the homeowner level, depending on where they got the plants. Uh, Phytophthora root rot, of course, is a root rot, meaning the symptoms above ground are going to be more like stunting, sometimes reddening. Um, lower parts of the plantings. This is a commercial uh, site, but as you see, um, as you get down to the lower part of the hill where it's wetter, that's where that water mold is gonna be the happiest and more aggressive. So preventing Phytophthora root rot is absolutely critical. Of course, starting with clean plants, maintaining good drainage. A water mold needs water to complete its life cycle. So without that water, it's not gonna be real happy and it's not gonna proliferate like we see sometimes in the, in the irrigated plantings. Uh, raised beds are gonna keep it drier. But remember blueberry, it's kind of a catch 22 because blueberry have very shallow root systems and they don't tolerate drought. So not too wet, not too dry. We've got to balance right in between. Removing infected plants immediately because this is a root rot that uh, pathogen will be sporulating underground, especially during wet seasons. So the sooner you remove it, the less inoculum builds up in soil. And I already said, starting with clean stock, knowing who you're getting your plants from. With blueberry, we see a lot of leaf spots. There are several different fungi that cause leaf spots. Never anything to worry about. This is one that I kind of don't pay much attention to unless it becomes really severe. Uh, raking those leaves, getting them out of there, burying, burning them, putting in the garbage. Um, that's fine if it really bothers a homeowner. Um, if not, just maintaining air circulation. The drier those leaves are, the less those pathogens are gonna sporulate and infect. But pH is really the primary issue with, um, with blueberry. So if you're dealing with a blueberry issue, start with, start with checking the pH in those, in those plantings. And a lot of times these stressed plants are gonna end up with things like Phomopsis. I have some Phomopsis tip light we're gonna see this afternoon. But that's usually secondary because stressed plants are more susceptible to other, um, other types of diseases. <clears throat> now onto strawberry. Strawberry get a lot of leaf spots and leaf blights. I've lumped them together because overall these, uh, these fungal diseases are going to overwinter in green leaves. All right, a lot of times our leaf spots overwinter in debris, but strawberries have that fall to spring season. So it's those green leaves that you're gonna see that overwintering. Clean plants, absolutely critical. So if you're bringing it in, it's going to overwinter. So starting with clean plants, um, cheap plants are usually not a bargain, okay? Um, so if a, if a homeowner has a small planting, they can remove those infected leaves one at a time. It's pretty time consuming, but they can do that if they choose to, and then just getting them out of there, raking, burying, uh, burying burning. Resistant cultivars um, in the Midwest Small Fruit Pest Management Handbook. So I've got a tree fruit handbook and a small fruit handbook. So they're in the small fruit handbook, again, online. Fruit rots, I've lumped those together too. So we've got an anthracnose, which is a colitotricum, a botrytis, gray mold, like you see on a lot of other um, fruit and vegetable plants, and then a, a leather rot, which is a phytophthora. That one is a water mold. But overall, clean picking, getting rotten and affected fruit right out of that field all through the season throwing them away, making sure they don't stick around, mulching to prevent berries from touching soil. Very, very important because these soil-borne pathogens are gonna move right up onto any fruit that touches the soil. So encourage mulching as much as possible. <coughs> wounded fruit, birds, insects, of course, wounded fruit are gonna be more susceptible, especially to the gray mold, to the botrytis. And then once berries come in, encourage refrigeration as soon as possible. Strawberry are just tough anyway. Thank <laughs> you.